Time now for sports, sports with J.R. Jackson. All right, we have a decision in the Patriots cheating case. <laughs> Bill Belichick, uh, well, you know, at least by Roger Goodell, the new commissioner of the NFL, he sent the nastiest blitz. He sent Troy Palmolo, Brian Urlacher, and Ray Lewis on his ass. He threw him for a half a million dollar fine for Bill Belichick personally, $250,000 fine for the Patriots organization, and if they make the playoffs, they lose their first round draft pick for next year, and if they don't, they lose the second and third round draft pick if they don't make the playoffs. All right, here, here's my analysis of that so far. Number one, they're going to make the playoffs, so uh -huh. they're losing a first-round draft pick. Uh, number two, uh, the $250,000 fine for the Patriots themselves, Pocket that's, change. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's no big deal. I mean, they'd take that in a second if they thought it really helped uh -huh. their team, right? The $500,000 fine for <laughs> Belichick, to that I say, damn, it's, they got damn. serious. It's getting. It's, it seems like well, the way that sounded, it's one of those things like in NBA whenever a guy – Gets this finally gets caught with something, and they know it's been building up. They kind of give it to him like this is what we've been trying to do for this long because we know this has been happening. We know that people just generally don't like things you've been doing, so they kind of hit him with everything. Yeah, <laughs> and Belichick is that guy for the for the NFL at least as coaches go. Yeah, no, you're right. And you know, since we did our last uh, video on the Patriots cheating, I've been swayed on a couple of things. One, in that one, we said they shouldn't take the game away, mm -hmm. right? And and they didn't take the victory against the Jets away. And, but I was like, you know what? A lot of co people make comments on YouTube or on or on the YoungTurks.com saying, "Hey, if they took an advantage by cheating, then maybe you should take the game away." So I was almost going to go in that direction when I uh, when I found out the fact that they actually had already taken the video camera away in the first quarter of the game, and that they actually used the taping for later games. They don't they don't use it in, in mid game. They claim maybe they do it at halftime, etc. But in the Jets game it definitely did not give them an advantage. That they give them a whooping on their own. Right. <laughs> Unless they read the signals from an earlier game that they had right. taped. Right. So now that being said, the five hundred thousand dollar fine is a significant uh, you know penalty is this and it, because they can't take the game away, taking away a first round draft pick and the fine, that, that makes it real. That makes it as tough as I think you can get and and I like that it wasn't just the players that they're tough on. You know, they were tough on Pac-Man Jones and tough on Michael Vick. And so when a coach came up, it was important to see that they're not playing, that they're going to do the same thing to the coach. Right. I I'm almost expected, actually, for them to go a little lenient. In fact, I was waiting to be mad about this. I was like, <laughs> oh, when they laid us down, I'm, I expect this, this, and that. If they don't give it to me, I'm going to be mad again. And who I was expecting to really go lenient on was the management or, or the owners because – you know, they have, you know, the commissioners like, oh, I want to keep this relationship. Or, you know, they're the guys with all the money. Is the league basically, not their league, but they're, the, you know, the big ways the guys with the money always tend to run things just yeah. secretly. And I was like, well, he's going to go lenient on them. And no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah. The only other thing I would have added is I would have suspended Belichick for one game mm -hmm. you know, also to, to make a point about mm -hmm. that. Uh, but, but they too, took him to a heart. And last point on it is that. Look, the other thing that suffers here is the Patriots' uh, credibility. And, I mean, since we did the last clip, everybody's talking about that they really earned those three Super Bowls. And you know what? That's a pretty heavy penalty, too, because it calls into question everything they've ever done and all their wins. And that's a tough thing to live with for the rest of time, you right. know. And now everybody's remembering, also personally with Belichick again, everybody's remembering the times he shunned people. You know, his protege is the coach of the Jets now, and then they, he was mad that he left them then. And then he kind of didn't shake his hand after, he, after after certain wins and losses with them. Peyton Manning, after finally getting the monkey off his back last year from beating the Patriots, he didn't shake his hand at, at the at midfield after the game. It's just all these things show it's personally going on him, and it's also going on in the whole organization. You're right. And the final analysis is that Belichick is an ass. <laughs> That's what everybody's <laughs> finding out for sure now. Right, exactly. But he paid the price for it. All right, well, hopefully they won't tape anymore, and for the rest of the games, we'll see if they earn it. Like, you know what? Brady and Belichick and all of them should be really motivated to win it this year so they can say, see, we did it clean, uh, uh, and so that would justify maybe some of their past victories as well. Young Turks. Every day on the YoungTurks.com, we let it out with an uncensored, wild-ass post-game show. Here's a little sample. Guy in Tennessee, this was from like a week ago, honestly, um, <laughs> prints out... $1,400 in fake money from the inter internet. And what does he do with it? I love this guy. He didn't spend it anywhere but this one place. I'm now obsessed with uh, Admiral William Fallon. And I don't think we really talked about it that much before on the show. Uh, not a lot of people know him, even though he is actually our top
top commander on the ground. He's the head of CENTCOM, uh, Central Command. He is General Petraeus, the legendary General Petraeus. He's his boss. And it turns out, you know why you've never heard of him and you haven't seen him at all? Uh, because he disagrees with the search. You bury him. You bury him. Who heard that uh, Mitt Romney's National Finance Committee co-chairman was charged with a 23 count in indictment? I'll tell you who, like 13 people. The guys who happen to read this on Crooks and Liars or, or whatever other blog, and you guys that just heard. You ask me why I'm against Hillary, and even though Hillary and Obama's Senate records are very similar, why I lean a little more towards Obama than I do towards Hillary, even though, as you can see time and time again, how pissed I get at Obama, because Hillary, Hillary surrounded herself with politicians and people who think, hey, and what she kept saying and what, you know, she's learned her lessons. And I think she learned all the wrong lessons. Now, uh, two fun clips from uh, the Petraeus testimony that we didn't get to in the show. To catch the entire members-only post-game show, sign up for a premium membership on TheYoungTurks.com.